Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing really well in this new year. Um, let's all work for a great 2018. So, you will hear background noises. My son is in the other room, plus my fur baby daughter and my other fur baby daughter is right at my feet as usual. <laughs> so, <laughs> today we are going to have Taco Bell. I got the Cravings Deal box. That's what it looks like. Comes with all kinds of goodies in it. So I am probably going to just take it all out of the box because it's kind of. It comes with a cheesy gordita. Ugh, cheesy gordita. <laughs> I'm not good. A five layer burrito. I have a nice taco. And I don't really care too much for these, but I'll have a couple with you guys. It's the cinnamon, the cinnamon um, things. I don't even know what they're called, to be honest, because I never order them. They just come with it, but. They're really not bad. I'm just not a big fan of it. <laughs> I'm going to readjust and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not sure if that's better. Sorry about the light up here. I have the light above me on and it's shining in the picture. It literally looks like it's going to snow outside. But it won't, thank goodness. But it looks like it. So, and it also, they have a new stacker, which looked really good. So I got one of those. <laughs> so we're going to have a big meal together. I'm not going to eat all this. But. And I have all my sauces here, which I'll just put to the side here. I'll use this as a garbage bag, but I am going to open everything up so you can see everything and then we'll start munching. Sound good? But um, I hope everybody's beginning of the year is going wonderful. This is probably my favorite out of all of them is this one, the cheesy, I think it's cheesy gordita, I can't. <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Looks good. So I'll add this here. I'm going to lay it all out so you can see it all. Five layer burrito. I have no idea what all is in there, to be honest with you. So, here is the burrito. We'll set it over here. We have the taco, and it's broke. I always get it's either broke or I don't know. So, I'll probably have to eat this first because it's already falling apart. <laughs> but, oh man. It's already broke. I'll show you guys. There it is. And here's the, it's all cracked and broke. <laughs> I mean, it still tastes the same. What can you do, right? And here is the stacker, which is new. I never had it before. I think it's just beef and cheese. So I'm sorry if you could hear the humming off that light. That's why I don't ever like to have that light on. Because I could hear the humming. So there's all that. And here is our cinnamon stuff. I'll just put a few of these on here. Well, you probably still can't see them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the taco because it's already broke. But I do have my door open. It's actually a little bit cool out. <laughs> so my son told me I'm cold. I said, well, I'm gonna leave the door open until after the video because it's so dark in here. I figured that little bit of light from the door will help, but it is a little cool. My feet are a little cold. So, but the cat's down there by my feet. So <laughs> hopefully she'll warm them up, right? So there's my taco, some nice crunchy sounds. This isn't gonna be an ASMR video, but there should be, yeah, she's right at my feet. <laughs> It'd be a nice one. Maybe she's cold too. I don't know. Mmm. Still good. <laughs> she's not cold though. She's long haired calico. Her hair is long all the time. So, it's a. And the drink comes with the box when you get it. I got my son a box too. Then, of course, I made my stop for the plain hamburger for my daughter. <laughs> but I have to tell you something. A couple things about her. <laughs> You guys be able to see it all. She's smart. She really is, but 
She knows. I swear to you. She knows next week's her pill time and she always gets a burger. So I picked her up a burger for my son to give to her. I like them both. I picked up a burger for my son to feed her in between so she won't bother us, especially me while I'm trying to do a video. And she knows it's close to her pill time, so she wouldn't eat it. It took a lot of coaxing to let her know there's no pill coming with this. Finally, I think she's eating some. Yeah, she's eating some now, but it took a while. She's like, oh, 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 I ain't eat that. But I don't put her pill in a burger, but she gets a burger because she has to have a full stomach. And once she uh, gets a pill, she won't eat. So I have to put the pill in peanut butter, which she used to love peanut butter. Now she hates it because I put her pill in it. <laughs> She's even more suspicious of peanut butter. <laughs> but she's eating it, so I picked her up a plain hamburger. So, we, um, everybody, most of my subscribers know I can't take her to the beauty parlor. She's scared to death to go. And it used to be, she used to be scared to death of that word. If I'd say booty parlor, she'd start shaking. And then when she'd come back, she'd be so upset because they kept her for hours and hours. And she's just the biggest baby. She really is. So, we don't take her anymore. We do her here, here, at home. Which, neither one of us are professionals for sure of that. <laughs> So, we get her all ready. Now, mind you, I don't know if I told you guys, we bought, we have um, hair trimmer that we bought probably a few years ago. And it's starting to, you know, be its age. <laughs> so, it's not really working right. So, recently, probably last year, middle of last year, we bought a new, a new, well, not in the middle of last year, towards the end, we bought a new doggy trimmer wouldn't work wouldn't work spent a lot of money on it wouldn't work so we gave it away because we've lost a receipt after that and can't, couldn't get our money back so went back to our old one because it works but it's it's really you know acting it's it's getting worn down <laughs> this is my favorite So just in December, we bought another new hair cutter. Said it was for her hair. Really, is not that thick. I don't. I don't think. But we bought one for thick hair, so it would go through. And we go to do her hair, and it just will not work again. So we kept using it as best we can, trying to get it to work and do whatever. And it just wouldn't work. Finally, my husband digs out the old one again. So her hair is half choppy. <laughs> it looks terrible. We did the best we could but um when she was done she got her bath and she was finally dry she wanted to go outside I said don't go outside Nikki don't go outside other other dogs will laugh at you and I and I started telling her they're all gonna laugh at you they're all gonna laugh at you <laughs> hey does anybody know what movie that's from <laughs> but I kept telling her they're all gonna laugh at you they're all gonna laugh at you <laughs> but no she's beautiful anyways I love her no matter what Bad haircut or not? Did you eat all her burger? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, she ate it all. So, good. I've seen her rolling around on the ground, so. A lot of you should remember what that movie's from. I mean, from what that saying's from. What movie? Put it down in the comment section. <laughs> but as I was saying to her, but... We went and trimmed it up a little bit better. She looks good, no matter what, to me. I'm her mommy. I love her no matter what. Such a brat, though. She, the last few nights, she's been keeping me up.
Nick, do you want some of these? I'm going to tell me to get some of these. I don't really care too much for them. <laughs> but. Oop. Somebody's licking my leg. <laughs> tell me thank you for her burger. <laughs> I have the door open. Sissy's laying in the doorway and Nikki's looking out the door. I'm going to break this in half so you guys can see what this looks like inside. I should have brought a knife, but I did not do that. Let's see if it breaks in half. Ooh, wow. That's what that looks like inside. Cheese and what is in there? Cheese, probably beans. That looks really good though. Let me try a little bite. cheese, beans, and I'm not sure what all's on there, but it's not actually not that bad. I'm going to break into this too so you guys can see it. This is what it looks like. We're going to have a taste of that. We're going to taste everything. And that way you guys see it all. Put some sauce here to dip it in. You can hear my son crunching behind the screen there. He's walking around. I gave him the rest of those cinnamon things. I don't really know. I'm just going to mix this hot, mild. <laughs> I would say Taco Bell is probably one of my favorite uh, fast food restaurants, to be honest with you. I call it Mexican food, but it's Mexican. Mexican, is, Mexican food is my favorite. Of course, I'm dropping it all over me. Let's dip it in there. Okay, let's dip it in there. Take a bite. I think it's just beef and cheese. I'm really not sure. Break off a piece. But um, January this month is uh, me and my husband's anniversary. We were in the car the other day. And he says to me, it will be 19 years that we are married this year, um, but not the total time we've been together, but the, as long as we've been married. And he says to me, I, he said, maybe on our 20th or our 25th, we'll plan a really, really special anniversary trip. I said, that's nice. Yeah, we'll do that. And I said, maybe we'll, we'll do it for the 25th. So, like, the 24th year, we won't plan anything big. And we'll save that money to go towards the 25th. I said, it doesn't have to be a cruise. It could be whatever we want to do, you know. But he wants to do Alaska. And he goes, well, we'll plan for the 25th if I'm still around by then. He always says he's old and dying. I said, oh. I said, yeah, no, nah, you're not going to be around. <laughs> I said, I'm already working that plan out. No. <laughs> All my new, my new subscribers, I'm only joking. My old subscribers know that I always joke. Me and my husband, we banter back and forth all the time. You know, I, I tell him I've been trying to get rid of him for years and years. <laughs> Our relationships just like everybody else you have your ups and your downs you know but as long as he knows I'm the boss it'll be fine <laughs> he hasn't learned that lesson yet I have to keep putting it into his head I don't do any New Year's resolutions anymore I used to do that Every year, make my New Year's resolutions. And every year, I never followed through with them. So I quit doing it. <laughs> if you 
you made any, put them down in the comment section. I, I'm just curious, but I just quit doing that. I never followed through, so <laughs> just a waste of my time. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen no matter what, right? Now, I do have my door open. I hope you can hear the pond. It's a little breezy out. The wind chimes once in a while are going off. There is a nice cool breeze coming through. I would say... Mm -hmm. I'd say it's probably 70 out. I'm not sure. My son says it's in the 50s. I don't think it's that cold, though. In here. It's cool in here. When I last checked, it said 68. I don't have the heat on or anything because I have the door open, but... If I shut the door, there'll be less light in here. So I figured I'll leave the door open, then I'll shut it when I'm done here. That's Sissy in her box. Kind of upset with work. My hours got cut drastically. But I had um, had some problems there, so I'm hoping things get a little better there. Because I need to, you know, get some kind of hours. Me and my boss are not the best of friends. <laughs> I just, I don't, it's probably because I have a big mouth. You know, I <laughs> argue or whatever. If I, if I think something's wrong, I say something. If he, like, through the holidays. Now, we had one girl that left right before the holidays. And then through the holidays, he was screaming at a girl. I'm in another area, and I can still hear him say to her, you need to work faster. You need to work faster. And she said, I am working fast. And he's like, I know you think you're working fast, but you're not working fast. You know, I just, and I felt bad. I went over to her and I told her, do not let him make you feel bad. I said, you are working fast. I said, I said, he says this to everybody. I said, don't let him bring you down. I said, that's just how he is. I said, you're a good worker. I said, don't let um, him make you feel any different. But she really took it to heart and cried and cried. And I gave her a hug and I just told her, please, don't let him upset you. It's just, that's just how he is. And and she's leaving. She's leaving. Um, she was that upset that she's leaving. So um, he could be pretty brutal and mean. But if he kind of does it to me, I'm a very quiet person. quiet period I don't really talk loud and um, you know I try to mind my own business and whatever else but if I see something going wrong I say something and if it's something like that I mean if it's something small I don't it's none of my business if it's really you know none of my business anyways but I always got to get involved because I got a big mouth but um, if he says something to me I don't think it's right you better believe I say it right back no just like um, one of the decorators was not getting her work done and he came over and was blaming it on all of us and I said stop right there I said I've been busting my butt all day I said don't involve me in this conversation you know I mean I'm not the hardest worker but I don't ever stop I these girls they take 10 minute breaks all the time they stop and go smoke a cigarette they stop and go get coffee I maybe if I have time I stop to go to the bathroom once they go three or four times or whatever else and sometimes I didn't go to the bathroom at all because I'm so busy the whole time. I said, don't involve me that. I said, I don't even take breaks, you know. But then I always get punished because I say something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, I mean, 
it doesn't necessarily have to be work. If I see anything going wrong anywhere, I always have to put in my two cents. <laughs> Normally, I'm fairly quiet. Day to myself. Don't bother anybody. You know, even a lot of people... I, I do speak low all the time. It's my normal voice. I get that all the time. You speak too low. You're too quiet. It's like, this, this is my voice. <laughs> it's probably a little louder here because I try to use mics and turn up the volume. But I am a fairly quiet person. But I can yell. <laughs> so. Well, guys, I am done. <laughs> I hope very much that you enjoyed this meal with me. I certainly enjoyed it with you guys. Oh, I see Grease Button. Grease Button. The street cat's out. The street cat's outside. She wants food. So we're going to go get her some food. I hope she doesn't leave. Grease Button. She's looking at me. So hopefully she stays there. So I'm going to go and go, we're going to go get her some food. And um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day or a wonderful evening, depending on where you are. I love you guys so much. You mean a lot to me. Um, stick with me. Let's have a great 2018. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.